Hey guys, my name is Isa, and I just want to quickly make a little guide on linking um, assembly and C++. This is going to be like, I just, I just want to quickly like cover it because I feel like a lot of people are struggling with this and, you know, it'll just be like one, one place you can all go. So if we, if we look at these, so I'm going to open these in Vim. So add array. Let's look at this first. So this is just from the presentation, from Kuminetsky's presentation. Nothing too crazy. So this is the add array one. So obviously there it is. You have your no up, moving, whatever. There's your loop and um, nothing too crazy. So I'm just going to quickly get out of here. Let's look at the call array. Just this is a code. Nothing too crazy. So again, so now what we can do is the first thing you got to, got to do is you got to compile each of these. So there's two different ways to compile. I'm going to use slightly different commands than you are, but you should just be able to follow whatever's on the presentation. I'm going to be using Yasm, I believe. Yes, I am going to use Yasm. And so to use Yasm with um, assembly dash G dwarf two Y L or sorry F L sixty four. This is just how I learned to do it. So add array dot ASM. So that's going to generate a object file for the the assembly file that's going to turn into an object file. And the next thing we need to do is we need to compile the CPP file. So I'm going to say call array dot CPP. It's going to give me an object file for the CPP. Now I can link these two together. And when I link these two together, I can make an application. So as we notice, if we look in, uh, if we quickly go back to CPP file, this extern, like the signature right here, basically what it's doing is it's saying we need to link these two together because we're saying, hey, compiler, don't worry about this function. It's going to be found somewhere else. And the linker, we'll have to specify it in the linker. We'll have to like link it specifically. So that's why you gotta you gotta compile both and link them together. So if we do G plus plus dash O, give it a name. So I'm gonna call this I don't know, add addition or something like that. And now we gotta specify those two object files that we created. So add array dot O and call array dot O. And those are just my names for it. So now we have an executable. So Linux executable, if we run the addition, which is what I called it. So here's enter size for, boom, there you go. I hope that helped.